Hello everyone and welcome to this video where I take a look at the OneDrive app for Windows 10 versus the OneDrive, OneDrive app for Windows 10 Mobile. Let's get started. I have OneDrive app for Windows 10 Mobile. Now here's the shocker. It's the same app because it's the Universal Windows Platform app, UWP app. So there will be absolutely no difference between this app or only a minor difference between this app and the app you get with Windows 10. So let's get started, but it, sees, it seems that nothing is loading right now. So, oh, there it is. Um, so I'm going to search for OneDrive. As you can see, it might look different immediately at first, but give me a second while I resize this app. And so we could show this app side by side. Actually, not like this, but like this like so now let's explore this app versus the phone app okay so this is the OneDrive app for Windows Phone you have the search button right there search button right there click back let's go back um, click the hamburger button you have the hamburger button here's your accounts here's your accounts you could change account settings you can add an account let's do that here there you go. There's the add account dialog box. Let's close this. Let's close this. Uh, there's the recycle bin, shared photos, and etc. Progress. Here's your downloads and uploads. It's loading on the phone because the phone's a little bit slower. But there's uploading, downloading. The only difference you have here is um, the only ex extra option is here is you have the camera option. Microsoft disabled camera option in the PC because uh, the Windows OneDrive desktop application handles the PC version. Now, uh, let's see how it works. So, here's my file explorer. This is the OneDrive sync client. As you can see, I'm going to open this OneDrive sync client. I'm going to click uh, settings. This is the OneDrive sync client. This is the Windows 7 version of the OneDrive sync client. Uh, and this is a desktop app that runs at startups. So if I go to my task manager, you'll see there's a OneDrive in there. It's it's, it's just a normal application desktop software. Uh, this has ro no relation with the Universal app because the Universal app is like is basically the same as the phone app. So let's see what let, let me show you what I mean. Let me go here. Let me go to videos. Notice that all these videos I have synced in the PC, right? So I don't need to download them from the cloud. Um, because this app, just like the phone app, has no relation to your file explorer and to your uh, OneDrive desktop client. If I try to open that app, uh, I'm going to open, let's let me go to the pictures folder. Let me go to Nasmus Labs. Go to Transit A Plu and go to videos. It's loading the videos from the cloud. It's not it does not understand that I have these videos on sync to the PC. So let me try downloading a video. If I do that here, it'll just open from the hard drive. However, if I do it here, I'm going to play it here uh, on the from the web. And there's a download option. Which will let me save it to a location. Uh, do you see that? See if I download it, it's going to ask me to save it to a location. Do you, do you see what I'm trying to say? So uh, just like here, the phone shut off. So if I go to just just like just like the pictures, uh, just like the phone apps. So if I go to pictures folder, Nasmus Labs, Transit A Plu. videos if I click if I click um, the downloads folder or not downloads folder if I click a video same video again I have the option to download it and I'll be asked to save in a location just like the PC version or just like the phone version because they are exactly the same app 
this app has no understanding of your sync client and which is expected because that requires engineering work that won't be here until at least the redstone 2 update which isn't a year from now at least a year from now so we have a long way to go to be able to integrate this application to the desktop sync engine so for now all you get right now is the Windows 10 mobile application so there you have it the OneDrive app for the PC make sure to like subscribe and thumbs up this video or which is which is same as liking the video if you dislike the video hit the dislike button twice and if you have any questions or comments leave it below and I'll answer them um, so stay tuned for more awesome videos coming your way